Okay. All right. Well, thank you for jumping on with me and spending a little bit of time to share uh, about your experience with, with bike technology and the smart fridges. So I'm on with Miriam Chang. She is the, uh, well, tell, tell the, the viewers a little bit about yourself, your role yeah. and, and, and so on. Yeah, great. So I am a resident district manager for Aramark Healthcare Plus. I oversee the food services operations at CPMC in San Francisco. And I'm also a registered dietitian. Um, and yeah, the bites have been awesome. It's been um, a lifesaver for us. Yeah, so uh, the bite technology smart fridges is what or what we're going to talk about today. So how long have you been working with bite? Uh, bite, oh gosh, uh, almost the same time as I've been with Airmark, so um, two and a half years at least now. Oh, great. And and where in the hospital do you have them placed? I have them, um, so I oversee three campuses. So I have a total of um, six, three at one hospital, uh, one at another, and then two at my largest campus. All right. And they're in cafe uh, environments or? Um, yeah, one of them is... The one that has three is right along um, next to the cafe. Mm -hmm. uh, that one, the vendor for the vending machines um, had to bolt their vending machines down and elected to not bolt them. So they took their vending machines out and we put in three there and that's right mm -hmm. next to the cafe. And the other two, um, one is within the vending room. So there's, um, we have vending machines on one side or bite on the other one. And then the last one at our newest campus, it is um, near our mother baby area. So basically okay. where, you know, dads or visitors are going to be there 24 seven. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's easier and much more convenient for them to access than the vending, which is like over by the ER. Sure. Yeah. And, and what do you stock the, the bike fridges with? So what actually pretty much anything uh, mm -hmm. we do candy, the biggest sellers are brownies which is funny oh, yeah are they? brownies okay. are the biggest seller uh but we do a lot of sandwiches uh parfaits we use um airmark's program the good day program so there's mm -hmm. um lots of marketable items with labels um barcodes that we regularly sell in our cafe so basically it's anything we sell in our cafe we we put it into the bite machine so we sure. really consider them an extension of our cafe operations okay um, really to help especially our the staff um, access fresh food after hours okay great and and kind of extending the reach into labor and delivery and other areas of the hospital like you like you mentioned yeah because our I, cafes aren't 24 7 so mm -hmm. um and people want fresh food you know it's sometimes vending machines are great but there's junk food in them, chips, sodas, and things like that. We have drinks in ours too, but mm -hmm. we're able to offer healthier mm -hmm. items, um, which people want. Yeah, and I think it really aligns with kind of the ethos of the hospital brand where they are trying to build a healthier person and you're doing that with food from, uh, from a food, per food service perspective as well. Yeah. Can you give me a sense of, kind of the economics and the goal is to generate more revenue right obviously make food available 24 7 but at the end of the day it's generating more revenue for for airmark yeah absolutely and what's great about it is not i don't have to add any extra labor there's nothing extra i'm doing it's basically taking items from you know what time my cafe is closed at like six or five or two and selling it through the night Mm -hmm. um, so I haven't had to add any extra labor. Um, it's, it's pure revenue that's coming out of it. I think when I first started, I was, it was a little bit of a slow start. People didn't quite know the tech, you know, but mm -hmm. especially in San Francisco, people catch on to innovation and tech pretty fast. Mm -hmm. And now, um, I easily bring in well over like $10,000 a month on machines. It's cra It's just funny to think about how much revenue is being generated by just stocking a machine with with items that you currently have um, mm -hmm. so especially during the covid time um, when people had limited hours um, we had to kind of cut staffing a little bit um, it's still an opportunity for us to get that revenue uh, mm -hmm. without any change in our practice yeah so with fewer hours or fewer staff this is a good alternative to continue generating more revenue or even boost your revenue yeah correct um, that food service program and then because um because we have control over it, we can change things out, right? 
if something's not selling and your tech, especially with your dashboard that you have, makes mm -hmm. it easy for us to identify what's selling, what's not selling, and we can use that data to, to change out what we're offering to, you know, the, I think that's what's the most helpful is the dashboard. Mm -hmm. I don't constantly have to be at the bike vending to look and see what's in it, um, what, you know, what I need to stock. Um, it it kind of already tells me. Mm -hmm. um, so it makes it easier on myself yeah. um, to be able to, to get that information. So it makes it faster for me when I need to, if I need someone to stock it, hey, you know, it needs soda, it needs chips, it needs maybe six more sandwiches. Mm -hmm. just go stock it so um the dashboard helps um the bite technology like it just it just makes it a lot easier yeah operate the business um more streamlined and more cost effective uh, cost effectively so just as a reminder for the people that are watching uh from a customer experience perspective bite is kind of this magical buying experience where you walk up to the fridge you swipe your credit card or tap your phone or your watch or your employee badge, and that unlocks the fridge. You can take whatever you want, close the door and walk away. There's no honor system, there's no theft, there's no having to check out. Um, and it's it's really the seamless or streamlined way to, to purchase food anytime throughout a hospital or, or a healthcare environment. From an operator one perspective. Feature, oh, go well, ahead. actually, well, one feature that I have not yet used, but I really want to, is the coupon feature. Because mm -hmm. I think especially in healthcare, we have um, a lot of times people do a lot of free food, you know, free sure. meals or free things for um, day and night stuff. But a lot of people forget the knock shift. And one cool feature with Byte is you can get a coupon code. Mm -hmm. So you can establish that for a certain time frame from this hour to this hour. And you can specifically gear it towards your knock shifts staff so that they still get like um, free meals, even though the cafe is closed. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can set that up in the dashboard, which is something I think for healthcare, especially, um, is um, a good thing to work out with the client. You know, if they want to say, you know, cupcakes for everyone, but they can't, or, you know, cupcakes for everyone, but they can't get to the night shift, you can give them a coupon code for one, two, three dollars off their purchase, and they can go to the bite and pick out whatever they want. So That's I right. love that feature. Um, I plan on trying to use that more to because it really would help um, with engagement for the night shift people for the yeah. night shift. There's a lot of discounting capability, I think, with the with the bite fridge. We see some clients put them in a doctor's lounge where the, the food inside is discounted. Um, so they can grab something or a nurse's area so they can grab something. But that's that's a good point where our fridges kind of level the playing field for the the knock shift employees where you know, a lot of a lot of these hospitals are struggling with morale or 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 um, hiring, and especially for those after hour shifts. Whereas, if you can make fresh food available to them as well, just like you do do during the day, it makes it easier to hire, and and um, people are happy about that. Yeah, so, so we're gonna we're gonna use that more, and um, I think it would be very well received. Another thing to think about also about your bite machines especially in the state of California, they're below the weight limit. So there's no, um, it used to be called Oshpod, but now it's called HCAI, I believe. California mm -hmm. likes to change their names. So it was very easy for us to install them in um, the hospitals in California, uh, mm -hmm. just because um, the installation of the bites is because of the weight capacity was much more cost-effective than trying, you know, a much, um, fancier machine that had much more weight to it. So it was, it, it cost us a lot less. So we were able to receive and install probably within a week, which is really fast turnaround time in the state of California when you're trying to install in a hospital. Yeah, and you mentioned that earlier in the call, but that's around seismic bracing. Yes, whereas, seismic bracing. Uh, our refrigerators are only 150 pounds, so they fall under that seismic bracing weight requirement. And uh, it, it allows you know clients like Miriam to implement them very quickly. How ha have you heard any feedback from your client, and and can you share anything that they've said about the the smart fridge? Yeah, they love them. That's why uh, when the vending was taken out at one campus, they were like, "Go ahead and put <laughs> yours in." Yeah. Uh, so um, I've gotten great feedback. They love the availability. You know, you can get the fresh meals, you can get the fresh food, which is all in alignment with what they want to offer. Um, 
um, staff have been much happier. I hear, I get the feedback off of your uh, dashboard. And so uh -huh. there's been a lot of positive uh, comments. Um, so yeah, and we have a lot of repeat customers too. So I, I think great. it's definitely going very well. Yeah, and you've mentioned the dashboard a couple of times and just to catch everybody up, uh, Miriam has access to and all of our uh, existing Aramark accounts have access to an online dashboard where they can see the inventories of each of their fridges all in real time. They see transactions happening. They can refund customers. They see the, the temperature of every fridge. They even see the expiration date of every product in every fridge without them having to add that information. So the fridge just automatically knows when a product's going to expire. So it's it's pretty powerful in terms of food safety and, and uh, fridge temperature as well. And since I have multiple accounts, um, you know, three hospitals, I have, you know, I have the, the six different stores. So mm -hmm. I can go to each one of my campuses and use my same username and password and, and log into each one of them. Or, you know, at home, I can go ahead and just take a look and see how things are going. Um, I don't have to be right there. And so the dashboard is um, convenient for that. And then the tags, especially too. So if one campus kind of maybe forgot to order, I can share tags amongst the three campuses. Mm -hmm. So uh, it just makes it a little bit easier for us. That's great. Um, good, and, and you mentioned tags and um, the operator experience. One, I think valuable point or something to share is the operator experience is, is really easy. All you do is you mentioned your username, you unlock the door using your username so we can see or Miriam's team can see Miriam stocked the fridge with these products at this time. Uh, but all she does is puts the products inside, closes the door and walks away and they're available for sale right then. So there's no checking in product, there's no data entry. Um, so we make it very easy from that perspective as well. And I think one of the benefits and maybe one of the jobs that Miriam has is presenting new technology to her client. And Aramark is kind of on the forefront of this, this uh, smart fridge technology where you guys are deploying it in these healthcare environments and your clients really appreciate the insight and um, um, insight into the new technology that's available today. So bringing this idea to a client and maybe sh sharing this video or um, share some some anecdotes from your other colleagues that are deploying by smart refrigerators um, can give them the confidence they need to deploy these in their hospital. Yeah, and anything else around is really great. I mean, and the customer service, um, you know, if I have an issue, I can email support and you guys are very responsive within that same day. Um, and then tech support, um, they get online and um, I've done uh, uh Zoom videos with them. Mm -hmm. um, very helpful team. I mean, you guys have a great team that really work to ensure that um, your customers are taken care of. So I, I have nothing bad to say about your support. It's very responsive. Everyone gets back to me really fast. If I have questions, if I need tags right away, they're mm -hmm. putting them up fast and, and prioritizing me. So um, you guys have a great team and have been very supportive to Aramark um, through everything, getting me machine, uh, the bike machines early, uh, setting me up fast. I mean, I've, I've had a really great experience working with, with bite. So I think mm -hmm. that has also made a big difference. Um, because, you know, other companies that you have, you know, you're asking like a dish machine, you know, mm -hmm. you're like, when can you come, when can you come? And you're just constantly battling with them. And, um, really, because what you need to do is make sure your machines and your equipments are functioning properly so that you can do your job effectively. Um, but I haven't had that issue with Byte. You guys have been uh, really great partners. Thank you for adding that. Yeah, we've got thousands of fridges out there uh, deployed around the country in healthcare environments, in universities, in BNI locations. Uh, we work with hundreds and hundreds of, of clients. So uh, this is a proven technology, and we really appreciate working with you, and we've been working together for a number of years, and look forward to a bright future. Thank you for the time, Erin. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. All right. Have a good day.